So today we're going to talk about the evolution of taste in various different animals. So, oh, cute panda. He has no T1R1 receptors. And why is that? It's a good question. So T1R1 is used in the umami receptor, right? Yes, T1R1 and T1R3. So why would, the bam why would the panda lose the umami receptors? So they're exclusively feeding on bamboo, so there's not really a need for that. But like, why is it T1R1 and not T1R3, which is also an umami receptor? Um, but it's also used in the sweet sensing pathway. So the T T1R2 and T1R3, the panda needs because it needs to sense the bamboo, which probably tastes sweet. So here we've got a wonderful example of carnivore. They lost their sweet receptors. And why is that? So there's no time in the wild that they'd really be feeding on something sweet. You know, they're eating meat, umami. They need the bitter, obviously. Every animal kind of needs them. Well, actually, no. But so they lost the sweet receptors because they're not using them. And to disprove my point from before, we've got a dolphin and dolphin has no bitter receptors. So those are the T2Rs. And they found in about like 10 genes that there was no coding for the bitter receptors. So why is that? Dolphins are chilling in the water. There's probably a mutation somewhere or mutation in many places, and they never notice because they probably don't encounter a lot of bitter things in the water, you know, only umami and salt sense thing. So here I want to go into, we've got a dinosaur here, we've got an alligator, and the whole idea is chickens can't taste anything sweet. But how come the hummingbird can taste the sweet nectar from the flowers? And it doesn't have the T1R2 receptor. It only has T1R1 and T1R3, same as the chicken. And which it most likely came from dinosaurs, which is interesting because alligators have all three receptors. But that was just a little thing. So they probably evolved from dinosaurs here. But how did we get here? So that the, the hummingbird knows that sweet's good. So probably didn't develop a new taste receptor because that takes a long time and just, yeah. So instead it's repurposing umami receptors to taste sweet. So how is it doing this? So it's pretty much changing the gene expression in the umami receptors to be activated when it tastes something sweet. So when it when it goes to drink the nectar, the umami receptors are umami T cells, taste sensing cells are activated and the the bird likes umami, so it's like, okay. But does it taste like umami or does it taste sweet? Hmm. So if the umami receptors are the ones being activated, then it should taste like umami, not like sweet. But the sweet tasting is being activated, is how it's being activated. But in the end, when the hummingbird drinks the nectar, it tastes umami and not sweet. 